The power women are here. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? The culmination of the Skywalker song. I know, it's pretty exciting. And great to be here with everybody celebrating and knowing that this is the first audience that will see the movie. Yes. Really exciting. I'm very excited to be a part of that. Um, Palpatine, coming back. How long has this been in the works? That is a secret. <laughs> we can talk a lot more about that after this movie, but I will say that when JJ joined us and came back to this, which was an amazing thing for him to bring this home, it was exciting to be able to pick up some of the ideas that were born in the early days of developing The Force Awakens. And, you know, there, there may be some threads that were, were sort of seeds that were always there that feel quite inevitable in this ninth movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I got to ask, which, which was harder, kicking off this leg of the trilogy or kicking off this trilogy or wrapping it up? I would Ooh. say ending is, all, think, is yeah, more difficult. The ending has been really, really tricky. That's probably the hardest thing. I think it's the hardest thing with anything because, you know, we can have endless conversations about where we're going, but to really find a satisfying conclusion has been something I think has taxed all of us. <laughs> yes. Well, I got to say, someone that's taken the world by storm, Baby Yoda. I know. Did you expect? You know, we, we certainly kept Baby Yoda secret because we didn't want anybody to know what we were doing. But I have to admit, John may disagree, but I, I really feel that this went way beyond anything we anticipated. It's out of control. Like, somebody has to <laughs> do something. <laughs> Nobody's just so sweet and I cute. for him. Yeah. So, see? Everybody wants to protect him. <laughs> That's yeah. the main thing. Your heart just explodes when yeah. he's on the screen. It's unfair. Yeah, so. I know. You guys have given us he's so cute. many. Like, too cute. Like, BB-8, Porgs, Baby Yoda, I can't breathe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the, the culmination of the Skywalker saga. We've heard talks of there being breaks in the movies. Well, what's next? Well, we had always decided that we we're taking a bit of a break after finishing the saga and now we're really starting to put pen to paper and figure out where we're headed beyond this. I think Mandalorian is certainly an indication of some of the ideas that are percolating so we'll see. We're having we have fun. Thank you about the future. And then we have Obi-Wan. Oh yeah. Obi-Wan is being directed by Deborah Chow. We're doing a six-part limited series. We were just actually down in Manhattan Beach yesterday looking at some of the cast and that's really coming along so we're excited. Yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to pick favorites but Deborah Chow's episode of The Mandalorian. Oh my God. Is it wasn't it great? No, she is really talented. Very Amazingly talented. Yeah. Well, congratulations on this and everything. I'm so excited to see what's next and see this movie tonight. Thank you. Thank you, very much. Thank you guys well, so fun. much. Thank you.